Hi, biologists. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use the IUCN Red List. This is a really cool resource for a lot of different reasons. So one way to use it is to just start browsing. Um, but what we're going to do in class today is to not use the simple search, but we're going to click over here on advanced search. And what this allows us to do is to, um, to to refine what we're interested in and looking for. So I'm just going to move my little face out of the way. And um, so the first thing that you can take a look at is all of these different tags over here. And so it, they're pretty simple to turn on and off. You just have to expand or close them. So in this task, we're just going to be looking at animals, the animal kingdom. So I'm just going to click that. And now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click the red list category. And what we're interested in are these three, critically endangered, endangered, and vulnerable to, um, to extinction or being becoming endangered. Those are the species that are of the kind of highest priority um, for conservationists. And then the next thing we want to do is move over here to land regions. And when you're doing your search later, you can choose any of these land re regions, or you could even come down here and choose marine regions if you are interested. Um, but we're going to stick to land um, regions for now because we want to first start by looking at Washington State. So I'm going to expand North America. And then I'm going to come down here and expand United States. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on Washington State. And it's going to tell me that there are 19 species that are vulnerable to extinction in Washington State. And then there's one more thing that's quite helpful or useful is if um, when you get to your country or your part of the world, if you click on this amazing species button, um, those are species that the database has been updated with some really cool facts about. So what you'll see here is that we've got, let me move my face out of the way, um, is that we have a few different species in Washington state that are critically endangered, endangered or vulnerable. And we can see that by what this little um, abbreviation here is telling us. So in this case, we've got this abalone who is endangered. We have this Western bumblebee who's vulnerable. And then we have this other abalone that's critically endangered. Um, and so I think it's kind of interesting that most of the animals in Washington state are either marine species or bumblebees. So that's something to consider. Um, all right, let me know if you've got any questions and I will hand it over to you.